All right, everybody. So like maybe 11 o'clock last night, the furnace quit working. It was a low of like 20 degrees last night. So it got pretty cold in here. We had every electric heater going, but with no insulation, it wasn't that great. So I'm trying to figure out what is going on. So far, I've determined it possibly down to the nozzle being plugged. So that's where we're at. I got it opened up and we're gonna take this nozzle out. All right, so here's what's going on here. Our fuel comes in right here, and this is our pump, and it pumps it into this line, which is then connected. You see I've already disconnected it, but it connects right there. This is our ignition source right here. So there's two bolts back in there that have loosened, and this rolls up. And what this does is these two prongs here touch these two prongs here and down inside of there there's an arc excuse me there's a gap and they arc across that gap to ignite the fuel so you can see that the fuel comes in right there turns this corner and there's a nozzle in there and i think that's what's plugged so let's see here i just wanted to take a second to ask you guys to please like this video down below and also subscribe all it is is the tap of a screen or a click it's as simple as that, and it helps support me in the making of these videos. Thanks. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. I'll take that apart and see if we got any plugs in there. No diesel leaking out of here. There pretty much should be diesel pouring out of there not pouring out but just dripping so that makes me think that this end is plugged and not letting air into it these are those two these are the two prongs that make the spark right on the tip there and the diesel shoots right out of that so i got the nozzle unscrewed from the end of this here you can see it's got one of those rock filters that also unscrews. So we're gonna take that off. But as soon as I let pressure, you can see just a little bit of diesel down in my bowl. So I, I think that's what's clogged here. I'm gonna take this little filter off and blow it out or put a wire through it. All right, so we got the nozzle all cleaned up, blew air through it, everything's good to go. Everything is clear. So we're gonna just wipe off this sending unit and put it back together, see if it works. All right, so we got everything all hooked back up. Just making sure that like our prongs are clean. So it's got a good connection. We scratch these up a little bit. I scratched up the prongs that are in there that ignite it. Make sure all that stuff's clean. This is called the eye. Make sure our eye is clean. This is what senses if there's a flame or not to shut the unit down. So let's bleed it and see if we get fuel. We'll hit our reset button. This should kick it on and then we'll start to bleed the fuel. Wrench cracked open and we're just waiting to see if fuel come through this line. Nothing. It's gonna shut itself off. There it is. So maybe it's gelled up outside in the line. Huh. You can see air leaking towards the tank. So I think this pump is putting suction on it. I think the line is either gelled up or plugged or something. So I'm gonna pull that hose off and give it a blow. All right, we're gonna have to pull some, oh, I don't even know what I would call this. A little circus act. I don't know why this thing isn't priming itself. I'm trying to bleed it and it's not getting fuel. So I am going to crack the bleeder valve on this. And I'm gonna run outside 
and blow on the tank to try to pressurize the tank a little bit and see if I can get fuel to this thing because I I have no idea why it's not pulling any fuel. We scratched that idea. We got the pump working. I don't think that was gonna work. I couldn't have gotten enough pressure onto this thing, I don't think. I would have had to reduce it down for something I could have sealed with like a rag in my mouth and it's too much. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is fill up this can and I'm thinking maybe the pump got weak or something and it can't pull it up over this eight foot high peak you know to bring it back down into itself you would think once there's a siphon going it wouldn't lose it but for some reason it seems that it's lost it and i cannot pick it back up so we're going to fill up this tank and see if the furnace can pull fuel off of a tank sitting right next to it at ground level another thing i was thinking i might have to do is put this tank up on the hillside over here that way it's kind of a gravity fed system I'll have to put a bong on the bottom of the tank and everything but that would be a better system and then the pump isn't trying to pull the fuel up and over it's the fuel is pushing on the pump almost all right we got it that was a problem. Just ran a hose straight through here. Was able to bleed it right away. You can see I squirted a little down there. 
is burning. I don't know if anybody knows what that white, you can kind of see a white foam even right here on the lid. It's like a white ash. From a quick research, I found that it, that means it's burning normal. But that's good that it's running because we needed heat. We didn't have heat. It went out last night and it was cold. So we got that going. All right, everybody. Well, that's a wrap for today. As I mentioned before, please like and subscribe down below. You can hit the bell notification. You could even give it a share if you feel so inclined to. But thank you. I hope everybody's doing well and we'll see you next time.